Hi guys, this is JB and Minot, and these are my pickups for the month of July 2019. Here we go. A 3DS game for 17 bucks. It was supposed to be pre-owned at GameStop, but uh, as you can see, hopefully as you can see, it's uh, sealed. But anyhow, it's Jake Hunter, Detective Story, Ghost of the Dusk. Uh, this is kind of a very popular series in Japan. It's, it's 30 years old, or it's just celebrating its 30th anniversary. It's kind of a mixture between a virtual novel and a detective uh, type game where you uh, search the environment to find clues. So there's that. I waited till it was really cheap because I'm not real big into these games. But at least they're playable. At least it's not uh, I just hit the A button, move on to the next uh, piece of dialogue. Okay, thank God I get overtime because uh, I bought a boatload of... Uh, Switch games. And I'm not going to start with the Switch games. You know what? I'm going to start with some uh, PS4 games because I bought a bunch of them uh, on the cheap. Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition. I love uh, open world games on the PS4. They make it worth your pie. Uh, I bought this. Uh, it was part of the two for one deal. Uh, actually, this one was supposed to be used too. Uh, GameStop had a deal where. You buy two used games, and you get one for free. And that's where I got this. I forget what the third one is. The second one was the Jake Hunter one. But this is the first one, and uh, it's an open world game. And it's gotten all kinds of accolades. Hopefully, uh, it's worth it, because uh, IGN, I wouldn't trust IGN. Nerdist, I wouldn't trust Nerdist. Giant Bomb, don't know nothing about them. PS Lifestyle and PS Universe, don't know anything about them, but they've given it real good reviews. I hope they're not doing it just because. It's basically about this girl in this weird land, that uh, weird universe where they uh, she hunts mechanical dinosaurs. And it's kind of a bit, a bit, a bit like a monster hunter. But it's gotten good reviews. Hopefully they didn't give good reviews because there's a female as an antagonist. They tend to do that stuff. It's like uh, any movie nowadays where a girl raises her fist to punch a guy. Oh my god, she's an action icon! Give her her own movie! You know, Anyway, speaking of uh, Monster Hunter, I bought uh, three PS4 uh, four games for 25 bucks at a at a garage sale. For the first time, after searching so many garage sales around here, I've actually found video games worth buying. Uh, Monster Hunter World. This is probably the first uh, game that's actually made a impact in the West. I mean, they've had Monster Hunter games for years here, but I think this is the first one that really makes an impact and really makes an impression on the West, from what I understand. And uh, I don't know if it's uh, gotten good reviews or what, but I don't care. I like Monster Hunter a little bit. Okay, Far Cry 5. I know these are popular in the States, but this one got, uh, this one kind of got chewed out by certain people because it doesn't portray, it's not as politically correct or anti-Christian as the critics were hoping for it to be. And this one's gotten good accolades. And I like God of War, but I'm just wondering if it's an open world version of God of War. But, uh, here's God of War. Uh, I think it should have been called something else to keep from confusing you with the first God of War game. But I like the God of War games. They're, they're fun. They're a blast to play. This one's gotten really good reviews. All the uh, reviews I trust give it accolades. Okay, now for my... Nintendo Switch games. I think I'm up to 200 and uh, at least 205 Switch games. One of these days I'm going to have to go over my Switch collection if anybody's interested. This is a game I haven't played yet. I just got it a few days ago. Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden. Apparently this is some kind of mixture between a, a fight game and a exploration game and a tactical RPG type game. Uh, but they get all kinds of DLCs for it on the PC. Umahara Kawasi. This is a girl, what she does is she has this uh, fish hook, and she goes on platformers. What she has to do is she has to go out and during, certain, during certain stages and go find certain food with the fish hook, try to capture them, stuff like that. This is a good idea, and apparently it's a popular series in Japan. And I got the PSP version. A good idea, poorly executed. It would have been a lot more fun if the controls just weren't so doggone shoddy. Maybe it's just something I got to get used to. I don't know. 
but she used the fish hook to attack uh, fish, to attack certain uh, animals, and reel them in so that she can use the use the ingredients to make food and to grow. And uh, there's that. The, the graphics look good. It's called Yumahara Kawasa Kawase Fresh. Uh, good graphics, bright graphics, but uh, for, it's from Nicholas. Normally I love Nicholas games, but I don't care for that one too much. This game didn't get good reviews. It looks a lot like Minecraft. I don't know if you're supposed to build things or just explore. Pixar. But I got it for like, uh, I think I got it for less than 10 bucks. Used. But you should see the graphics emulate Minecraft quite a bit. City Skylines Nintendo Switch Edition. Apparently this is a very popular successor to uh, Sim City. I saw a video the other day comparing this to uh, Sim City, where they were having a mock battle, trying to figure out how to build a city or how to fix a city. But it's basically a city building program like uh, Sim City, which I would love to get on the Nintendo Switch. I love Sim City. It's one of my favorite. Uh, I started playing Sim City on the Super NES years ago. It was one of my first Super NES games, and I've had it for over 25, 30 years. Okay, Psy Barrier Delta. This is a shooter. And, the and this is a true bullet hell. I mean, the whole screen fills with bullets. What you have to do is you have to somehow, and I haven't figured it out yet, uh, buzz some of the bullets, graze some of the bullets on your ship, and the more you do it, the more invincible you become. But you got to be careful not to overdo it or you'll explode. Uh, it's a very hard game this way, but I'm still trying to figure it out. Plus, the screen size is kind of small. It doesn't fill the entire screen. But uh, there's that. I ordered this online. Lost Sphere. It's from... Uh, who was it from? Let's see, it was Square Enix. And I don't know why it's so hard to get here in the States. I had to order it from Amazon.com. I don't know why they didn't have it in the States. But the thing is, it's, it's not a very exciting RPG. To me, it's, it's kind of derivative. I didn't really care for it all that much. I got bored. Here's an excellent game from Best Buy. A limited run game. Guys, they're selling limited run games at Best Buy. I don't know why they're, nobody's buying them there. But uh, Giga Wreck Alt. What it is is kind of like a Metroid puzzle game. Where in order to uh, get past certain obstacles and kill certain enemies, you have to knock down certain parts of the environment or destructible parts of the environment and then collect the pieces and the energy and use that energy to, to progress, to make it past certain enemies, to make it past certain areas. And it's a blast to play. I love this game. It's a gorgeous game. It's just, it's just fun, kind of like a Metroidvania type game. And the, 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 the puzzle elements are excellent. I love this game. It's a blast. Super Mario Maker 2. I bought this for the uh, built-in levels. I'm not much of a game creator. Uh, some of you might be. I'll have to get online to check them out. But a lot of you guys are kind of sadists when it comes to building levels. You all love to build those really hard levels just to brag to yourselves. And that's okay That's if you like that. Uh, it's basically a bunch of mini levels that you play through because you're trying. You're basically Mario and you're trying to build up back up the kingdom after Bowser destroys it. So what you do is you have to... Uh, Go through some of these little mini-levels, mini-challenges, grab some coins, and help build up the kingdom again. That's basically it. It's cute. It's fun. Some of them are kind of really difficult, though. Raiden 5, Director's Cut. This is a very popular shooter, I think, on the Xbox. And they might have had it on the PS4, too. But I think I played it before. Uh, before. But uh, it's a very fun game. They've got an easy level for old, old farts like me who can't play to... Uh, get through the levels. It's a beautiful game, fun game, uh, but they kind of shrink the screen down a little bit again. Uh, you got a bunch of stuff on the side, a bunch of stats that you don't pay attention to, and you got that little shooter in the middle, so I kind of have a problem with that. Other than that, it's a fun game. Uh, it wasn't very expensive, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Oh, another limited run game. It's pretty fun. I've never played a Toe Jam & Earl game before. Toe Jam & Earl, Back in the Groove. Uh, basically, you're just going around certain lands, picking up certain items that you need 
to progress and to get past certain levels and it's kind of like a 3D almost 3D uh, chilled out version of Metroid or something like that you're not really going around killing bad guys too much at least not in the early levels uh, the graphics are cute as all get out they're cartoony it's a fun game to play I really enjoyed it I really enjoy it I am enjoying it here's a kick-ass game that they sold at GameStop but they didn't sell it at GameStop you had to go on their line on their online service and buy this game and it was cheaper buying at Amazon.com Rad Rogers Radical Edition now this is supposed to be this is an M mature level game however you can edit out the blood and the language however throughout the game they do remind you that it is supposed to be an M rated game but he's basically kind of like a Contra type game and you can play as Duke Nukem if you want I don't know if you can play him right off the bat but it's a fun game to play it's a shooter platformer and you're just trying to get from one level to another, uh, opening up certain levels. Uh, there are uh, little uh, zones where you have to guide this vehicle, and you're trying to uh, open them up. And it's it's a fun game to play. It's a cute game to play. It's a great platformer. Just a blast to play. Nothing super special, but it was. A, yeah, I like it. I enjoyed it. I got it for twenty bucks, whereas a GameStop would have gotten cost me thirty. So. Okay, Cabela's The Hunt Championship Edition. I got this at Walmart. I said, what the heck? So, it's not open. Walmart's got a lot of El Cheapo games, too, if you look. In fact, Walmart lately has been, all the brand new AA games have been cheaper at Walmart than they have at GameStop. We happen to have Walmart right next to our GameStop. So, what I do is I look at the AAA titles at GameStop, figure out what they are, then I go to Walmart to see if they're ten dollars cheaper. But anyway, this this wasn't a triple A game, obviously. It's uh, Cabela. And they'll probably come out with more of these. Uh, it cost me twenty bucks at Walmart. Also at Walmart, they got a program where if you order it online to pick up at Walmart, it's cheaper sometimes if you order it online and then schedule it for pickup. Sometimes you can do it within a few days, but. Uh, they really want you to use that online service. They want you to. Uh, they want you to uh, go online, buy the game online, and to pick it up at Walmart. And sometimes when you do that, they make it cheaper. I don't know why they're they're so insistent on it, uh, but we'll see. Okay, this one was a GameStop exclusive, but I was doggone if I was going to pay fifty bucks for it because uh, the game itself is not getting really good reviews. But it's a novelty. I guess what you can do is you can take this game and you can take it apart. See, there's the clearance. I bought it for 30 bucks, which is probably too much. But it was 49 It was 50 bucks before. And I waited until it went on clearance. And, uh, and nobody was buying it. This was on the thing for, this was on the shelf for months. And you can turn this into a little arcade cabinet, a little cardboard arcade cabinet, which I'm not really interested in. I haven't got enough room as it is. I got a one bedroom apartment. So I really don't have enough room for that kind of junk. Uh, but anyhow, I got this. It's a it's a classic platformer. Uh, they say it's really hard. I hope not. But anyhow, there's that. Okay, guys, this was just a quick video to uh, kill uh, some time on a Saturday or a Sunday. And hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, I want to send a shout out to all the people in El Paso, speaking of Walmart. I pray that God brings comfort to those folks. And I pray that uh, our politicians have the wisdom not to politicize it. Uh, I just uh, pray for wisdom for our country. Uh, in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great weekend. And God bless you. Have a great August. Bye-bye.